Dreams for, we're gonna be building dollhouse style homes inspired by different seasons. If you're new to my channel, the dollhouse style of building in The Sims 4 is basically like an open concept, no front walls type of home resembling, you know, a dollhouse. And I love building these so much on my channel that I've made an entire playlist revolving around the dollhouse style of build. So if you guys wanna see different dollhouses and different themes, I'll link that playlist down below. But today I wanna build four different ones inspired by the seasons, starting with autumn. So I'm gonna just start off building my shell as if we were building like a normal house for now. Maybe just something fairly simple like this. We'll leave the front parts there for a balcony. And then I'm gonna take my wall tool and using control on my keyboard, I'm just gonna delete some of the walls that I already made, making it look more open concept. I might actually leave this wall right here. I'm also gonna leave this wall right here because this is where I'm planning on putting my door. And you're gonna see why a little bit later in the build, but basically putting the door up there is gonna allow us to lock everyone else out. I'm gonna put some stairs right here on this side and basically just bringing my flooring out to about here. We're gonna raise this whole thing up on a foundation. And I think for these parts here, I'm gonna put a tiny little half wall, basically just so that your Sims can't like wander in there off the street. You're still gonna be able to see in there like the dollhouse, but your Sims won't be able to get there unless they use that door. I'm gonna open up the bottom floor a little bit like that and we'll leave this part open, but I am gonna be putting a fence on this balcony here. And for our autumn dollhouse, we're gonna see colors like orange, red, brown tones. I'm thinking about incorporating themes like academia. We can do a lot of bookshelves, like back to school kind of thing, pumpkins, Halloween. And I think for roofing, I'm just gonna keep it simple with two half gabled roof pieces there right on top. We're gonna add some stairs right here at the entryway so we can get up there. And basically this is gonna be our shell. Let's start to add on some details here. I'm gonna add a roof trim up top, maybe just that one there from Cottage Living. I think I wanna add like a nice brick chimney over on this side. So I'm gonna go in with my room tool and do two rooms on top of each other like that. And then going on top of there, we're gonna get our half walls and just make another one right on top. Then in there, I can go in and add my chimneys. I'm gonna use this Get Famous wallpaper for the chimney. And I think I might also bring that down onto like my half wall here. Do we want it on the whole thing? It could be cute, but I think I'm gonna need one more wallpaper in there to add some dimension. So I'm gonna go in with this one here from Outdoor Retreat. We'll add my foundation paint. I'm gonna add some flooring at this front area and I think it would be really cute if we did some sort of like reading area there or like a chess table even. And then up on this one, maybe we can do more of like a grass area. We could do like a picnic table on there or like something kind of fun up there. And then for our flooring in the rest of it, I'm just gonna use this hardwood here from Cottage Living. I'm gonna put some trim all around the entire thing here. And for added detail, I'm gonna add some columns here from Snowy Escape. For windows, I'm actually thinking about using these ones here from Base Game and just putting them on there like that. This orange wood phase that I'm going through right now is, <laughs> we're not even in fall and this is the color scheme that's been on my mind lately. I don't know where it's come from. The only thing with those windows is they have like the brown on the one side, but then on the inside, they're all white. It really bugs me. So I think before I even do anything else, I'm gonna go in and cover them up with some high school years curtains. And we're gonna start to do some of the landscape. So I'm gonna take this terrain paint here. I like to soften it a little bit. I'm just gonna bring this forward, maybe making the brush a little bit bigger and we'll bring it out like that. And we're definitely gonna be adding all of the trees with like the leaves turning. Cats and Dogs actually has a pretty good variety of trees with like the leaves changing like that. So I'm just gonna try and find a good placement for these. We can maybe put it like nice and close in the back here. Snowy Escape has some red trees here. And we're gonna open up Debug because I wanna get the pile of leaves from Seasons that we can put in here. These here, these are gonna go absolutely everywhere. <laughs> I really wish we had a terrain paint with the leaves built into it. I feel like they could have easily done it too because in the fall in the game, they actually have like a leaf pattern on the ground. So I feel like it would be really cool if we could do that manually. And actually right here, I'm gonna turn this part into a chess area. I'm gonna add these red and orange trees here from Seasons and kind of just make like a cute area here. And I'm going for woodsy a little bit. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use these like homemade wooden chairs. They're not the nice is looking next to that chess table, but I think when we pull it all together, it's gonna be cute. Okay, so after adding all the details here, this is what our autumn dollhouse is looking like so far. I added a whole bunch of pumpkin decor along with all our leaves. I tried adding them all like underneath the trees and everything to make it look a little bit more realistic and just like hiding some of the pumpkins in there. This little area here turned out so cute with our like chess table, the trees in the background. I also added this bookshelf from Cats and Dogs and I raised up some some of the bugs.
buckets on there with like potatoes. I also added a whole bunch of vines in the background and I also like put them over here on this side. Some of them are from vampires and hidden in here are some like red swatches. You've got some like yellowy green ones in here too. And there's also one from Get Together, which is like same thing with different swatches and stuff. And then up here, I was saying that I wanted to do kind of like an academia vibe back to school in the fall. So I added a picnic table up here with a couple cute chairs from Outdoor Retreat and just like a bunch of books, like one open one here, like someone was doing homework up here or studying. And then over here by the door, I just added a couple of like planters for something to be there. I had to move this part over a little bit so that you could get up those stairs. But for the inside, we're gonna have to figure out where we can put either a ladder or some stairs because we can't actually get in down here. But I'm thinking what we're gonna do is bedroom up here. I did bathroom down in this corner and then we can do like open concept dining, kitchen and living room down below. So let's start up here with our bedroom. The lighting coming in here is gonna look so pretty. I'm thinking for the bed, we do something nice and cozy like this one here from Outdoor Retreat. Actually, you know what? I feel like Outdoor Retreat would be really adorable for all of our bedroom stuff. We have two matching end tables and we have a matching dresser so we can have everything kind of laid out there like that. I do have room over on this side for a fireplace so I think I'm gonna go in there with the cats and dogs one which is gonna match the red and we also have a lot of autumn inspired things especially from eco lifestyle like we have these leaf wall decor pieces maybe I can put one of them there and like the other one over on this side and I'm just gonna move my dresser over to that corner there so I can put a ladder and that's how we're gonna get down to the main level I might also put these lamps here outdoor retreat is shining today we could do a backpack in here maybe it's like a college student that lives here. We have some other leaf decor here from Seasons. These are really cute. And maybe I'll just put another bookshelf up here like that one there from Cottage Living. Right outside here, I'm gonna put a red mailbox with a trash can, just like something like that. And so far, this is what this floor is looking like. We've got our bedroom in here, so cozy and cute with that lighting coming in. On this side, we have our dresser over here with some clutter. And I think we're ready to do the main floor. So coming down here, I want to have like bookshelves visible from the front. So what we're gonna do is find some really big ones that I can put like in between those curtains there. I was thinking like this could do like right in the middle there like that. We could also do a fireplace in this corner. Oh, this rug would be cute. Maybe not with the rips, but that one there would be really adorable from werewolves. It ties together the whole color scheme outside. So maybe we do orange chairs like facing forward like that with like a plant there in the corner. The coffee table from Outdoor Retreat can match the set that we have upstairs. And we have some more like leaf decor that I'm gonna put all along the coffee table there. Maybe on top we could do a set of candles. Actually, that looks really cute from Spa Day. And then maybe we'll just leave that part open there because up here is where our kitchen and dining are gonna go. We could actually do kitchen over to this corner here and then I could bring my counters around that way. So maybe we'll do counters here from Island Living and I'll just like wrap them around. We have the half wall there anyway. And if it looks weird, I could just like match the counters to the height of the half wall or we change it to that fence there and then this could look like the cutest little takeout window ever. Let's get our essentials and then I'm gonna clutter that up with like something, some kind of produce they could just take. So we have our oven sink area for prep and our trash can is going over here. And then maybe over on this corner, I can just add a whole bunch of like produce. Like Cottage Living Debug has a grocery bag. We could add like a casserole dish and maybe a little baby Aww. pumpkin. That way we have this huge area over here for like a bigger dining table. I'm gonna use that one there from base game and then we just need some chairs to match. I'm using those chairs there from Seasons and this looks so cute. I love the colors here. We still need to do the bathroom really quick, which is gonna be pretty simple. I'm probably gonna use a lot of the season stuff here because it has that color scheme that I like. So we'll do something like that with the Realm of Magic mirror. Maybe some like orange towels in here. Then on this side, I'm gonna put the Seasons bathtub. We do also have this like leaf picture here from Dine Out, which I I could put in here. I'm not a big fan of this picture. We've also got that. That is very fall like from seasons. Okay, so there's our bathroom. All our essentials are in here. Very cozy looking on the interior. I think my favorite part is that bedroom with like all the lighting coming in. I think that looks so cozy. But that has been our first dollhouse, our autumn fall house. 
Fall house? Fall house. Our, our autumn fall house. <laughs> Moving on, we're gonna go and do winter. So for the winter one, I actually wanna build here in Mount Kemerebi because it's winter all year long up here on the mountaintop. I wanted to build in the snow. So let's start off. I'm gonna start off this one a little bit different than the last one. I'm gonna grab this flat square here. <laughs> it's gonna be difficult to see because of the snow, but I'm basically just gonna put this on the ground, pull it and pull it out like that. I'm gonna immediately go and get some kind of fence so that I can put that around and we can see it and we'll just raise it up a little bit. I'm building here at night by the way because like in the daytime it's very bright here so for our eyes we're just gonna do it in the dark and I think instead of doing the door trick that I was doing I want to put some kind of gate here. You can also lock these so instead of having the door that you have to lock you just lock the gate for other sims. We'll put stairs leading up and that's how we're gonna protect you from your neighbors. For my shell I've started in that back corner there and I'm just gonna bring out another room here here. And I'm going to repeat the same thing on top of the other shell, just like the same thing on top of the other one. I'm going to delete all of these walls here and I'm adding some lighting here real quick so that it's like a little bit brighter for us. Okay, for roofing, I'm going to take just the gabled roof piece and extend that over on the first corner that we drew and I'm going to tilt it in a little bit using the adjusters like something like that. Then I'm going to copy and paste the exact same roofing that I did right beside it and I'm going to adjust it onto the smaller room. So our roofing is just gonna look like that. Okay, so thinking of the winter, thinking of like cold weather, snow, I wanna add things that would like warm us up here. So over here in this corner, I'm gonna add a hot spring. This would be so nice and cozy to come in there in the freaking freezing cold. I was also thinking about something really cozy that could be on the lower level. And what if we did like a little tea bar? In the winter, just like in the hot spring, you're gonna wanna come and like warm up with a nice cup of tea. So I'm gonna line the back wall there with these. And then I was thinking, the owner of this little tea house can live upstairs so it'll be like a multi-level restaurant and then like apartment up there we've got this really cool bar which i'm gonna put right in front of our tea shelves we'll have our bar stools at the end there and we could even put some vending machines like over here right beside our tea bar i think that would be really cool out here where your sims could like come and get something from there so down below is the tea bar over in this little cubby is where we can put our stairs i was thinking if we put stairs over here and then put a door there you could allow people to enter to go to like the hot spring or the tea bar like we'll just put a door here and you could lock that this could be a whole private area and maybe actually get my vending machines can go into that little cubby down there i've added some trees around here along with a public bathroom just in case and for our own personal bathroom i'm just gonna do a little three tile one up here because we don't have a whole lot of room to work with but i still think this is gonna be enough for everything we need i want to do a fireplace over in the corner maybe we could put that one there and we'll put a TV over top. And I would love to put a tree somewhere, but I know that I'm a little short for space. I could put it up here. I'm actually just gonna move that fireplace over to that corner because it fits perfectly there. That way we're gonna have more than enough room for our kitchen stuff over on this side. Okay, it took me a minute to figure out this layout, but I had to rearrange everything a little bit. We've got our kitchen over there in the back, our dining table right here with our bed. I didn't want the bed to be pushed all the way back here into that corner, so I added a table back here which is great because on there we can add more like wintry things. I'm using a lot of snowy escape in this build for obvious reasons. A lot of it revolves around like winter sports. We've got these here we could put up. Actually maybe I could put this in the front area like that. We've also got this one here with the climbing gear on there. We can decorate with a wreath. I'm gonna put that above my door. Maybe like a snow globe behind here. Anything extra I can add to get that wintry vibe. And then we have to do the bathroom in here still is gonna be very basic. The only thing I'm really gonna be able to fit in here is gonna be like that shower on the wall or toilet. Ooh, we could do a sink on the counter over on this side with our snowy escape mirror to pull it all together. That was actually a good call because in there we can add a bunch of like the clutter from the kits. We could add some backup toilet paper down there, like comb clutter, any of these little things that'll fit down there. We could even do some towels. I just put a picture up on that wall so there was something there and this is what our bathroom is looking like over here. This definitely took a different direction than I thought it would. It's a very heavy snowy escape wintry build, but we've also got some of the like Christmas elements in there with the Christmas tree. I really love the tea house down here. I think that would be a super cute place for your sims to come and warm up. Same as like the hot spring area over here with the bathroom in the back. And then up here, we've got our super cozy winter dollhouse. You can cozy up in bed watching TV with the fireplace on. Take a nice warm shower after you've like bolted out of 
the hot spring and up the stairs. So that has been our winter dollhouse. We're gonna move on and do a spring one next. All right, so back here in Brindleton Bay, we're gonna start off the same way we did with the winter one by using this flat square piece. I liked how that looked, so I'm just gonna take this and build like a big square right here. And maybe this time we'll do like a little bit of our shell right there, and then I'm gonna bring it up this way and over a little bit. I wanna do another like rooftop area. I think it would be really cute if we did a whole bunch of like flowers up there or just something cute right there. So this is gonna be another like greenery area. I'm extending a wall out this way and I'm gonna go ahead and delete some of our walls. So we'll delete this one here at the front. I'm actually gonna bring this part down a little bit so our balcony will actually be right there. We're gonna raise this thing up on a foundation and for this one for spring, I'm gonna be thinking of like flowers blossoming, maybe a little bit colorful. We're gonna start to see maybe a little bit of like pink and green. I can't wait for the spring. This is around the time of year where I start to get like, okay, spring can come anytime. Like we just had another like snowy ice storm here where I live in Canada and I'm over it. <laughs> I'm very much over it at this point. I've added some gates there from Cottage Living so you can lock those, but I'm also gonna add a door here onto this front wall. And I think before anything else, I wanna start to work on this here. So for spring, I was thinking about like cherry blossom trees. Like I might put one of these and just shrink them down over here. We'll squeeze it back there as far as we can get it. Maybe we can put like a couple big ones back here as like our landscaping. And I know that under my wedding stories debug, we actually have another cute tree like this. So I think I'm gonna put that over on the side here. Again, just making sure we're not seeing it coming through that wall. I might even like extend this all the way over. And I was thinking about what we could put out here. I think the swing from the little camper's kit would be so cute out here. Like if we put maybe this swatch and just angle it so you're like not in the trees, but you're kind of in there. And then instead of putting a fence back here, I'm just gonna line the entire back part here with rocks. I also added some pink wildflowers back there and I feel like that looks so cute. You can already tell the difference between this one and the other ones. This is gonna be so much more warm. I added my roof up there. It's two different half gabled roof pieces that I slanted like back a little bit to get that asymmetrical roofing shape. And I think for the wallpaper for the whole thing, I'm gonna go in with my wedding stories pink stone. For my windows, I'm feeling snowy escape today. And I feel like it would look really cute with like the cherry blossom trees. So I'm just gonna put these ones here. And then maybe around the side, I'm gonna use like these bigger ones. And then for our landscaping, I think I wanna do a pond. So we're gonna take the lower terrain tool and I'm just gonna lower it over at the front. We're gonna like carve a path around it. Like after we fill this up here with water, we can go in and like make our path go around this way. So our pathway looks something like that. And then we can go in and add from get together. We've got this super pretty like petal water paint, totally fitting with like the trees we've got here. We can go in and add maybe some like cute pink lily pads. I love adding this little fishing sign here so that your Sims can come and like actually fish in the pond. And then for the surrounding area, I'm just gonna be putting these pink flowers, maybe some of the shrubs all the way around. All of our landscaping is gonna be pink. Okay, so our landscaping for our spring dollhouse is all complete. This is what I did with our little pathway leading up, tons of like wildflowers. And also this plant here from Jungle Adventure is a really cute one that I don't use all that often, but it's very colorful. It has these little like yellow and orange and pink flowers on there. I also did a little bit of a layout. Like I figured out where our stairs are gonna go. So for the bottom floor, we're gonna have everything open concept again. Bathroom is gonna be in the back. Our second floor is kind of just like a lot of stairs and leads onto our balcony, but maybe we could put something there like a desk or something. And then up top is where we're gonna do our bedroom. So I think I'm gonna start here, keeping with our color scheme and like the floral theme. I think I'm gonna use this bed here from high school years and it's fine that it's gonna be pushed against that wall because you can still get back around either side with where the stairs are. Also from high school years, I'm gonna put this rug right there. And I was thinking it'd be really pretty if we put these like visible from the outside. So either like facing that way like that or we like rotate them so they're the other way. That actually looks really pretty. I put them down here on this floor and that's actually lighting too. So at nighttime, it's gonna give off this really pretty glow. And I was also thinking about maybe using the pastel pop kit wallpaper in this bedroom here. We've got the flowers on it. The strawberries are more of like a summery thing. So I feel like we could get away with using that later too. But I'm gonna put my end tables on both sides here. We'll do some flowers on the end table. Maybe like some greenery in here too, like a ceiling plant. And we do still need room for a 
dresser. I only have room for a tiny one. So what if instead of my hanging plant, we do those curtains there, we can bring the hanging plant like down here and then we'll be able to get our tiny living dresser right there. Maybe with this little pig plant on top of there and for our bedroom, I feel like I don't really wanna clutter up this area at all. So I'm gonna leave it like that. This is what it looks like so far at night. And then down below, here is where, I don't know what to do with this floor. We could definitely do something like right here. I do think I'm gonna put a desk. Said it before, let's just commit. I like that we've got a little bit of privacy there with those curtains. So we'll do computer there. I'm feeling like we should definitely do like this pink heart chair. I've been wanting to use these here, the blooming lights, perfect for spring. So our desk is there looking like that. And even over here, I have a little bit of room. We could do like another plant in that corner. Maybe in the back here beside that plant, we could do another bookshelf like that. So there is our second floor. I freaking love this part. It's so magical out there. Let's go and do the bottom floor, which is gonna have pretty much all of our essentials. I'm gonna start with the bathroom and I'm just gonna change the wallpaper over to a different color, like orange. We've got a perfect little spot back there for our toilet. I don't know if I wanna do a bathtub. I feel like I should do bathtub maybe over here, just like in that corner like that. And then our sink can go over here. And then for decor in here, we could do some like cute pictures like that from the pastel pop kit. I was also thinking maybe this, but that might be a little bit too ambitious in here. Unless we like separated that off with like a hanging plant above the bathtub and like a little rug right there. I don't know, I think it looks kind of cute. We'll do some pink towels over here by the sink. And yeah, I think I might leave it like that. I don't normally use that picture thing there, but I kind of like it in here. Let's move on from our bathroom. We're gonna move on and do the kitchen, dining, and everything else. I'm thinking for our layout for the dining table, I'm gonna put it over here and I'm using those chairs from high school years. Then our kitchen can be like over here on this side. And I might do a green fridge from Country Kitchen or we do green counters pink fridge. Like wrapping our counters around like that, I'm gonna put these here because they match our color scheme in our kitchen. I'm gonna use the Country Kitchen sink with the cottage living oven beside it there. We'll do trash can on the end and a mailbox. I haven't really thought of where to put that. Maybe I'll put it right outside here. I'll do pink one right outside the door. And I'm thinking back to the winter one with the gate. I don't know if the mail people are gonna be able to get to it. So just putting it outside like that, then they'll be able to get there. In the corner, I'm just gonna add a little bit of clutter over here. And I'm thinking about doing a smaller dining table here since I feel like we don't really need that many people anyway. We can put our dining table like right here near the outside. So you're kind of getting like a little bit of the outside air. We could even move it onto the patio, kind of depending. We'll see if we have space in here. I'm gonna do a TV on that wall with this underneath here from Cats and Dogs. And I don't know what kind of couch to do. I'm thinking about this one here from Island Living. It's got like a sheer back on it. I never really use this one, but it's matching our color scheme. So I'm thinking why not? And I'm pretty sure we've got a matching chair. We're gonna do some bookshelves on here, maybe some clutter. We need to do some spring cleaning here. And I feel like I could even get away with putting like a coffee table in the middle. We've got a lot of room in here. So I'm gonna put an easel over to the side. I added a lot of knitting things in here. So maybe I can do a knitting basket over here. And maybe we can add some of these like little eggs here. They're super cute and colorful and remind me of spring. So I'm just gonna put a few there. And I think that's gonna be it for our main level. Look how cute our spring dollhouse looks all lit up at night. This is totally my favorite so far. I love all the colors. I'm totally ready for the weather to just change to this a little bit warmer. Some flowers would be nice. All of the levels on here are looking so cute. Make sure you guys let me know which one is your favorite by the end of this. The final thing I'm adding here at the front is just an ottoman and some flowers. I had like a little bit of space, but there we go. We are ready to move on. And the final dollhouse we're gonna be doing is going to be the summer one. So for the final one, we're starting off again with, you guessed it, another flat square piece. And this time for our shell, I think I'm gonna bring this part forward a little bit, but I wanna leave a lot of outdoor space here. I might even put a pool on this one. So I'm gonna build up that way and then I'm gonna go upstairs and we're gonna do another one on top. And I've brought some of the flooring pieces out to the front. So this part is a little bit bigger than the two parts on the side, but we still have a lot of open space right here. This right here is where I was thinking about putting a pool. And for this entire thing, I want it to be very lush, very green. Everything in the summer is in like full bloom. Maybe we can use this super cute gate here from Cottage Living at the front. And for the roofing for this one, I think we're gonna keep it pretty simple. It's just gonna be a gabled roof piece, which I'm gonna put on the front part. And I'm gonna bring that all the way forward so it's covering those wall pieces 
pieces at the front. And then I'm basically gonna copy and paste that same roof piece, but make it a little bit smaller in the back and pull it all the way to the side. It's gonna look something like that. And then I kind of want to try out like a blue roof paint. Maybe like something like this could be cute on there. I'm kind of thinking like beachy vibes. So what if for the paneling, we go in with this one here from Spa Day. So it's gonna give off that like beachy home look. I'm thinking maybe going up here with just like this base game fence. I'm gonna use this flooring here from Eco Lifestyle on pretty much everything there. And since I don't plan on deleting these walls here, I do wanna add one of the open doors. I wanna keep this like breezy and light. So I'm using these ones here from the Desert Lux kit. I have to double check every time about these freaking kits. There's so many. And for my windows, I'm gonna use these nice big shuttered windows here from Cottage Living. We'll maybe put some smaller ones on the sides. And I said I wanted this summer dollhouse to be really lush and green. So this is the landscaping that I did for the front. I added these yellow chairs here from Base Game with the umbrella, the lemons. I needed to add sunflowers on here. So I added these ones and like sized them up. I did different like sizing varieties for those. This barrel thing over here also had some sunflowers on it. Oh, and I added a little pool floaty in there because you have to. All right, let's start to furnish this thing. I did my stairs over there. And I think I'm gonna do my main bedroom right here. I think I wanna use one of the canopy beds so I want to keep it really light and airy. So I think I'm going to use this one here from Island Living. And I think maybe with another one over here, this can be another bedroom to the side. Maybe we add this green rug underneath. The color scheme is very blue, green, and yellow. Maybe we'll do like the matching Island Living end tables to the side here. And I love how cute the sunflowers looked outside. So I feel like I want to add some of those in here too. Maybe like two different varieties. We're going to do Island Living lighting right above there. And for my dresser, I'm gonna just spin around and put it over here. Probably again gonna stick with the island living one. I feel like the egg chair would be a cute addition here. Like this one, maybe I can put it in the corner and you can like spin around and look at the view. I'm imagining there's just like a big beach like right over there. I mean, we have a pond. <laughs> Close enough. We're gonna do a laundry bin on the other side with a plant. And this is our bedroom so far. For the bedroom over to the side here, this is probably gonna be either like a guest bedroom. I'm getting more guest bedroom than like a kid's bedroom really. So maybe I'll use the other island living table so we have like the same colors. Maybe like a cute plant on there, just going for very guest roomy. Maybe out on this side, we can do the matching furniture to the egg chair that we put. Maybe there's like a cooler up here someone brought while they're staying here. Oh, we should have a campfire. I wanna put a guitar here, but then it would be really cute if we put like a campfire out maybe over to like the corner. Definitely with these chairs. These are very summery, very cute. We'll do a pig one, a bear, and a dog. <laughs> there we go. We've got our campfire set up. Back to our task at hand here, the guest room. I added a dresser in the back there. I'm adding more summery things out here, like I've got the water balloon bucket. And this whole side of the house is looking really cute. In our hallway here, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I'm going to put like a decoration right there. Maybe just a mirror above it, like hallway things. And then down below, we're going to do everything else down here. So let's get our bathroom out of the way. Maybe we can do something like that for flooring and wallpaper. And this bathroom is pretty big. I feel like I can probably fit a shower and a bathtub. So we'll get both of those just like beside each other like that. Some robes here coming in from the pool. On the other side, we could do a toilet like on this wall right here. And our sink can be right here. Maybe I'll just like switch those over so that doesn't look so weird. All right, so bathroom, we've got everything in here. I added that shelf over there from Tiny Living. We've got both our shower and our bathtub over here. And I just added a little bit of like bathroom clutter on the walls. We're gonna move on and do the final part of this build, which is gonna be the open concept part. And I think I definitely wanna do a picnic table for our dining. I was thinking like this one, I don't know, it just gives me summery vibes. We could even put a picnic basket on it with like some cute flowers on top. This one in the watering can from Outdoor Retreat is really adorable. And then I also really wanted to put some planters maybe along this wall over here. We can actually get away with putting a couple big ones. So I'm gonna do a couple of those right here. Here. We could even put like some sunflowers in the back to make it seem like we're growing something. And then in the back is where we're gonna do our kitchen. Oh, we should put a barbecue. I just thought about that. Maybe we could do a barbecue like over here in the corner, just like that. Right near the picnic table. Okay, back here, we're definitely doing the yellow fridge. I don't really wanna put it underneath the stairs there. So I think I'm gonna bring it out this way. I might use the green counters from Cottage Living. We'll do our sink over on this side. And then we have tons of room for prep and everything. Our oven, we could do 
use the country kitchen one and i want to put this tray here of like drinks maybe i'll put that right beside the fridge like they're making lemonade or something we'll put the lemons like right beside it we'll do trash can there and underneath the stairs i don't really know what i want to put under here i might just use it for storage but we still have a huge open space here for our living room which is gonna maybe just be like a seating area maybe with like an eco lifestyle rug we have like all the colors we're using in there and we need some really summery furniture like this if i can find a swatch that'll work or we do have this here from high school years i don't want to reuse the chairs that we used upstairs but island living does have these ones which do match i could just do like a couple chairs like this we'll just do a coffee table in the middle the idea here being that i feel like this family is going to want to be outside we can maybe put like a radio on here or something but i don't really want to put a tv maybe underneath the stairs we can put these here from seasons because it's like out of season boxes of decorations in the summer you kind of just like hide it somewhere and i think this is gonna be it for our main floor and this is what our summer dollhouse turned out like i hope you guys like this build challenge in the sims 4 let me know which one was your favorite i think between this one and the spring for me were definitely mine that could just be me over this cold weather that i'm dealing with here though so if you guys like the video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one Thank you.